save me by your name, by your power defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault and through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant we pray that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture that has put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them. And they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the trial troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to 
Glory to you, Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee, and he did not wish to travel in Judea, because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jews' feast of the tabernacle was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he comes from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area. He was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me whom you do not know is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Before I begin, um, there's something unique happening today. Um, Pope Francis will be doing an extraordinary Irby at Orby blessing. Uh, the, uh, the Irby at Orby blessing and, and message um, is typically done on Christmas Day and on Easter Sunday. Those are the two days that the Holy Father would give a message to the world uh, because of this celebration, give a special blessing uh, to the world. Uh, Irby at Orby uh, in Latin means to the city and to the world, right? It's to the message to the city of Rome and to the world. But because of what we're all going through, what the world is going through right now with the coronavirus, uh, he'll be doing an extraordinary uh, Irby at Orby message and blessing, meaning out of the ordinary, right? It's not typically done uh, uh, this week of Lent. Um, and so it can be uh, viewed on TV. Uh, EWTN will be um, carrying it on television. Uh, it can be streamed uh, online um, on the Vatican website on the Vatican News Facebook page, EWTN Facebook page. Anyway, just trying to get all the, uh, uh, that out there to everyone. Um, oh, and it starts noon our time. It's 6 p.m. Roman time, but it's noon our time uh, is when it's supposed to happen. It'll happen uh, uh, at St. Peter's uh, on the Locia uh, uh, above the, the main doors. That's the place where right, the, the newly elected Pope is announced. Uh, so whenever the Pope... Um, is giving a message up there, right? It's very significant. He's always, Holy Father always addresses the world uh, from there. So it's not a minuscule um, detail, right? That's chosen there for a reason. And that's also, uh, again, where the Irby at Orby blessing and message takes place. So again, uh, noon, the Holy Father will be giving a special message uh, and blessing. Oh, and also there's a a plenary indulgence attached to anyone who watches uh, this message and blessing. Right? Plenary indulgence is forgive all temporal punishment due to sin. Right? It's a very awesome grace uh, for all of us. Um, there's conditions that are attached to plenary indulgences on top of doing kind of the prescribed action. Uh, we are to pray for the Holy Father on the day we make uh, uh, the indulgence, do the indulgence. We're also to uh, receive communion, typically on the day or near the day, and go to confession, at least near that day. Um, but the, uh, the Vatican, and I believe it was last week, that removed that um, requirement, or clarified that requirement right now due to the coronavirus. So anyone who does a plenary indulgence uh, can just then go to confession and receive communion at the next uh, um, available time. Uh, so it's kind of extending that 
um, uh, that part of plenary indulgences. Uh, and finally, the last thing um, for a condition for plenary indulgences is to be detached from all inclination to sin, even venial sin, right? The, the day, the moment uh, we do that action. So anyway, a plenary indulgence is available uh, for all of us who, who watch the Holy Father today at noon. Just real briefly, the, the, the psalm uh, really uh, struck me when I was reading the, through the readings this morning, preparing uh, for the Mass today. Uh, and I'll just kind of read some of uh, the more notable lines, uh, I think, from the psalm. This is Psalm 34. Uh, the answer poem was, The Lord is close to the broken heart. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues, you, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the, the Lord delivers him. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. Uh, these are very... Uh, I think very comforting words for us, no matter what we're going through, but especially uh, right now, that the Lord is close to us, uh, who are brokenhearted, who are crying out in our need, in our distress, in our despair. Right? He's close to us. He rescues. He rescues us. He redeems us and, and, and delivers us from all of this. Um, so it, it takes, I think, a certain trust in our Lord right now, um, especially. I mean, it's, it's, it's right and good for us to bring all of our troubles to him, whether it's, it's personally for us, um, maybe we have someone uh, who might be infected with coronavirus or potentially uh, might have the virus. Um, we might know someone, have a family member who um, sadly may, may have passed uh, from this virus. Um, we might be struggling through not working right now or unemployment. Right, the numbers of unemployment in our country and have skyrocketed in a matter of days. Um, so there's that reality of, of the future, what's going to happen uh, in, of, in the future um, you know, with things. There's, there, there's a lot we can bring to our Lord, uh, to Him. We have to trust in Him uh, right now. We bring everything to Him, so it's right to bring all this. It's right to pray for this virus to end. It's right to pray uh, that a treatment or vaccine, or, or cure, whatever, be discovered soon, right? We should bring all of these things and more uh, to our Lord. Um, but we, we trust in Him as, as children trust their parents, uh, right? We trust in our Heavenly Father. He, will, he cares for us. He provides for us. The rub is it might not happen according to our timeline. Because we know the Lord is all-powerful. He could just end this with a snap of a finger. Right, that's, that's just the reality. Um, but we don't we always get things according to, uh, to our needs. Right? You know, in a sense, that's prideful, right? wanting things to happen according to our will. Or we don't pray our will be done, we pray that his will be done. So right? it's a, I think a, um, a great amount of trust uh, that is needed whenever we pray uh, for uh, just and good things to happen, especially right now. Uh, but when we give ourselves over to him, right, trust in him, that his will may be done. We present our needs and our petitions to our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis, for his intentions, his funds, and the bishops in communion with him, and the deed in charity and truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected officials to hold public office and to be in their mission of promoting the common good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all disciples of Christ may be closer to him during this Lenten season through prayer fasting, and almsgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus, uh, for those families mourning their loss, uh, those also 
Blessed you, Lord, out of all creation, with your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, so they come for us the bread of life. Blessed be you. Blessed you, Lord, out of all creation, with your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, so they come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all this holy church. May the sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have lift up the up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. And just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May fully therefore in these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. of the new and eternal covenant 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of 
Amen. The prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already, already, already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and give glory to God by the way you live your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, for us and to help Satan, 